good morning children we are going to see the lesson 2 the final portion the lesson 2 is motion right so this is the part 3 of lesson 2 motion so in this we will see what is mass mass is defined as the amount of matter the body contains this you have already learnt in your 6th standard is it not it is defined as the amount of the substance or amount of the matter contained in it so what is the unit it is kilogram and it does not vary from place to place the mass will not vary from place to place so what is mass it is defined as the amount of matter or substance present in the object or the body the amount of matter or substance the body contains is defined as mass so what is the unit it is kilogram and it does not vary from place to place now what is weight it is defined as a force it is a force with which the earth attracts the body towards its surface earth has a force what is that force name it is called as gravitational force because earth will pull pull means it will be attracting the objects towards itself so that is why we are all able to live on earth it means we are able to stand we are able to sit or we are able to be on earth surface because of this gravitational force say if you throw a ball okay if you throw the ball it will not be there in the air permanently that means it has to come down why is it is coming down why it can't go up up and up because the earth will pull it down or will attract the force the earth exert on the object that is it will pull the ball down so this is called the force so the force with which the earth attracts a body towards its surface is called as weight so what is the unit of weight it is newton you should be very careful when you are writing newton when you are writing it in words you should write it in small n n e w t o n but when you are writing the symbol the symbol should be always in capital n now you can ask ma'am newton is the name of the scientist it means proper noun why i am not writing capital n for newton no this is in physics when we are writing the units we are not going to use capital letter for the scientist name also we are going to use only small letters this is the rules for writing the units this you have already learnt in your 6th standard so newton now we have to start writing with small n n e w t o n and then the unit symbol will be capital n only the symbol will be n but the unit will be newton then this weight will depend on the mass and gravitational force that is mass into g that is m into g w is equal to mg m is the mass and g is the acceleration due to gravity or that is the force that is exerted by the earth yes that is why it is named as acceleration due to gravity gravitational force so that is the word coming gravity so what is weight it is defined as the force with which the earth attracts the objects towards its surface so what is the unit of weight it is newton newton i again repeat when you are writing the words you should write with small letters when you are writing the symbol it should be capital n alone and then this weight will depend on the mass and the gravitational force so which is nothing but w is equal to mg m is the mass 
g is the acceleration due to gravity now what is this acceleration due to gravity acceleration we have already seen it is the rate of change of velocity so it is the increase of velocity of the falling object that is i told the example as when you are throwing a ball up you throw the ball up now the ball will start coming down coming down so increase of the when it is coming down the velocity will be increasing so the increase of velocity of a falling object falling object as and when it is coming down the earth will be pulling it that is the force will be pulling it so under the effect of the gravitational force the ball is coming down under the effect of the gravitational force so that is called acceleration due to gravity now this acceleration due to gravity is given with the symbol small g right so now this g will be given a value of 9.8 this g is given the value of 9.8 so what will be happening the weight of 1 kg on earth it is m into g so that is 1 kg into 9.8 meter per second squared so you will be getting the value as 9.8 newton so the weight of 1 kg on earth now why earth al because only earth is a planet which has gravitational force other planets don't have so we are mentioning the weight of 1 kg on earth so it will have 9.8 newton the value of 1 kg on earth is 9.8 newton now this uh, gravity the acceleration due to gravity will be differing from different planets first for moon what is it it is 1.6 it is not 9.8 so that is why when the scientists or the uh, astronauts go to the moon yes they will be having difficulty in landing or moving here and there because there is no acceleration due to gravity on the planet moon what will happen they have be like floating because there is no force to attract and put them on the surface they will be like floating on the water right so that is called a space walk right like how they are managing to walk in that space or in the moon where there is no gravity at all so acceleration due to gravity is nothing but the effect of the gravitational force it is increase of the velocity of the falling object now what is the it mentioned as small g what is the value of g it is 9.8 meter per second squared now what is the weight of 1 kg on earth it is mass into g that is 1 kg into 9.8 so what is this it will become 9.8 newton so acceleration due to gravity will be always 9.8 meter per second squared on earth now if it is on moon acceleration due to gravity will become 1.6 meter per second squared now measurement of mass how are we going to measure the mass we have two things one is the beam balance another one is the physical balance beam balance you have a horizontal metal rod that is called beam and then you can have two vertical rods and in the two vertical rods you can tie the bands yes and on each band you can put the one pan you can put the standard weight and you can put the object on the other pan yes you have to add standard weights on the one pan so that the beam the beam pointer will be on the horizontal position that is the beam will be coming to the horizontal position with that 
we can understand or we can measure the mass of the object when the beam comes to the horizontal position the object uh, the mass of the object can be obtained now how will we take we take the beam balance then place say you the object any object say you can take a box or you can take one small uh, pencil or one water bottle or you can put it on the one scale what is one scale pan you can put it on one pan that when the moment you place the object on one pan the beam will be tilted towards that end now you have to place the standard weights you have stones no standard stones 1 kg stone 500 g stone you have seen that in the how the vegetable grocer will be uh, selling no the stones you will place one stone the stones on one pan so you place the uh, standard stones on that pan and then you have to balance the beam balance the beam means you have to make the beam come to the horizontal position again and the pointer should be pointing exactly uh, vertical so that only then only the uh, beam is balanced once the beam is balanced then the mass of that particular object is obtained from the standard weights which we have added on the other pan okay so this is how the beam balance is used then coming to the physical balance this is measured this is usually measure, used to measure small masses like grams and milligrams this usually we have only in the laboratories yes when we go to the physics lab we will show you that it is used only in the laboratories so again this also has a fixed pointer in the middle then then the pointer will oscillate oscillate means move the side on that side according to the weights so in the middle you have a pillar and then in the end on the other two sides you will have the scales and the pointer will be moving this side or that other side depending upon the weight on the pans yes so this is the physical balance then coming to the weight how are we going to measure weight now we were measuring mass alone we measured mass using the physical balance and the beam balance now we are going to measure weight weight the moment weight we can we can use our spring balance spring balance is nothing but a spring is fixed to a metal body and that upper end upper end the loop that is on circle loop there no on the top that is always fixed you can put it on a one end in one particular fixed position and then the object the weight of the object uh, to be found the object is hung hung on the hook there is a hook in the bottom hook is that small c shape thing on that you hung the object then the spring stretches the spring will stretch according to the weight of the object even now we are using this uh, spring balance in many shops or even in airports where we have to find the weight of the baggage luggage anything yes you just tie the baggage to that particular hook and the moment you tie the baggage to the hook baggage will pull the spring the spring will stretch and then it will show the exactly the weight of the object on the scale you can read the uh, weight of the object yes so the spring balance is used to measure the weight now what is the difference between the mass and weight this is very very important question answer you have to write this in your homework notebook so first one what is mass it is the amount of the matter present in the body then what is the unit of mass it is kilogram then how is it is measured it can be measured using beam balance or a physical balance then it is constant everywhere and it can never be zero it can never be zero then weight weight is the gravitational force or the amount of gravitational force acting on the body 
the unit of weight is newton then it is you measured using the spring balance and it varies from place to place why the gravity the center acceleration due to gravity is different from uh one each planet say earth it is 9.8 and in moon it is 1.6 then this gravity uh, can be zero this acceleration due to gravity can be zero in that case your weight also will become zero why the formula for weight is mass into acceleration due to gravity so this acceleration due to gravity if it is zero then your weight also will become zero whereas uh, your mass can never be zero yes so children you have to go through this video this is the last portion of your third lesson what is mass what is weight then we saw what is acceleration due to gravity yes and then we saw what is how we are going to measure this mass how we are going to measure mass through the balances beam balance and the physical balance how we are going to measure the um, weight of the object it is used the spring balance is used to do that then we are seeing the differences between mass and weight okay write the types of the balances and the difference between mass and weight in your notebook okay before that uh, this mass and weight i will go through again so what is mass it is the amount of matter present in a body then the unit kilogram and it how you are measuring it is using beam balance and the physical balance and it is constant everywhere and it can never be zero what is the weight weight will be the gravitational force acting on the body the unit of weight is newton and it is measured using spring balance and it varies from place to place or in words it can be zero also when the acceleration due to gravity is zero then the weight also will become zero okay so this is the homework one is we have to write the differentiate between mass and weight and you have second one is you have to write about physical balance beam balance and spring balance you have to write all these four things in your homework notebook and send it across yes children